likely to be my companion for most of this build. You'll see I've made a right mess in this box. Just trying to get out as much of the packing material as I can. It must be quite well packed because there's certainly plenty of packing material coming in there. Anyway, what I was digging for, was trying to find my tool set. I ordered this tool set with the aircraft. So I get an air rivet gun and an air drill, which shall be fun. Get some, some tin snips, left and right variants, and a hand riveter, and all sorts of other tools that I'm sure I will get acquainted with. Some Clecos, the infamous Clecos, or Cleco pullers. Ah, deburring. I'm sure that will become one of my nemeses. Hmm, exciting. The funny thing is I, I don't have an air supply yet. I do not have any way to, to run this air drill or this air riveter. So that's, maybe that'll be my Christmas present to myself. Buy an air compressor to get them functional. This must have used to be a window was always here before I've had the place, but through here there's an extension to the garage. So my plan is to hire a concrete saw and cut out one of these sections. So perhaps down there or down there, or I'm not quite sure, maybe I'll go full width and actually cut it down there and down there. Knock out this bottom part so that I can increase my usable space and and use this workbench back there which you, you'll see I've already started stacking little boxes and, and bits and bobs. It's going to be a very messy operation, very messy and dusty to, to knock this concrete out, all these bricks. And I will likely also have to do some reinforcing up, up the back. You'll see concrete's cracking there already because these, these beams going up are, well some of them aren't screwed in on the other side. These ones down there are already completely falling off. But anyway, that's the plan. Knock out this wall, get some more space. Dog doesn't know where to look. Destroying cardboard, paper, tearing things apart is one of Dog's favourite activities. Uh, she must be in heaven. Although, get out of my tools. Go the other way. Not the tools. Ah, to be a dog. Well, I think this is as far as I'm going to get tonight. I've got a lot of the, the packing material ripped out and carefully placed or rearranged some of the items in the kit. The crate shouldn't be moving around all that much anymore, so it doesn't need to be too well protected. Got my big wheels sitting here. I may have splurged a little bit and gone straight for the, the big boys. So I'm looking forward to making use of them. Got another couple of boxes and things, just a couple of things stacked over there to re reduce the number of things I've got hanging out in here. And that's really as far as I can get, I think. I'm gonna have to chuck the plywood back on top of this box to keep all the dust out and likely rearrange a couple of the things stacked in here and then it's all go to knock out that concrete and start looking at some benches getting something installed down here and then weld something together that I can use in the middle as a main workbench. And then I'll be able to push the crate well up to that size and hopefully have a little bit more room to work with. It would be amazing. Well, the plan for these videos is quite ad hoc. I don't have a plan. I always wanted to, to publish something on YouTube when I, when I built such a big project like this. And well, now it's arrived, and that means actually filming and starting to, to do that. So I'm giving it a shot. This will be relatively unedited, but I'm just gonna put it out there and the first couple of videos will be a lot of learnings, I imagine. So if you, if you ever do watch this and if you keep watching, it's, it's quite likely that the videos will improve, hopefully. And someday, I hope, it will be worthwhile watching, that, that people will enjoy watching, just like I've enjoyed watching many projects here on YouTube. And with that, I guess I'll see you next time, and we'll be concrete cutting, knocking out walls. Alright, see you then.